Hello, this is Shep, the Sun Valley Auto Club, taking a look at this 1980 Mazda RX-7. Got it up on the rack, and we'll see what we see. First thing, all right, is tires are great. Brand new. No dry rot. They're not totally brand new, but 90% tread. No funky wearing showing. Gas tank is a new refurbished tank that has been put on. So if you want to rattle can that uh, black or gray, you can go for it. But uh, that one's been reconditioned. It's totally clean. The fuel system's clean. So underneath here is all 1980. So it's well patinaed, but there's certainly no rust issues on the car. Got factory pinch welds all the way down. No signs of uh, of any welding or cutting underneath. You can see some uh, years of oil changes, some improper lifts on that pinch weld, but nothing that's going to hurt the car. So I'd call that uh, you know well patinaed, but certainly no. No rust issues, floorboards, pockets, wheel wells, etc. You've got the standard uh, Mazda uh, weeps on some of those seals, but uh, no, no real severe leaks. I'd call them weeps and not leaks. Down low, you do see signs like up in there. Some signs of Bondos. There might have been a uh, a collision repair done there. But I'm seeing factory bolts up front. The front fascia is all all there, not cracked up. Front bumper is original. Wheels, etc. So, original car underneath here, very solid. Obviously, this one's not priced as a show car, but everyone want, everyone wants to make sure they're not getting a rust bucket. You can always handle a few mechanical issues as a project, but certainly nobody wants to get into body work or sinking good money on top of bad. So. It's a good car, very solid platform. There's a look at the underside of this 1980 Mazda RX-7. Fun to drive, good lines, nice and expensive toy. Hey, it's Chef here, Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973, and we'll talk to you soon.